Oh, interesting. It says here you're still not subscribed. We gotta fix that. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bondi Johnson. I'm the founder and co-owner of Roasted Coffee Company. Here we talk about coffee, business, and everything related. Today, I'm finally doing it, guys. I'm finally doing the pod video. I get countless questions. YouTube comments, emails, Instagram messages, consultations, it comes up constantly. How do you guys do your pods? Because we sell freshly roasted, roasted coffee company pods. And it's been it's been a great business for us. We really wanted to add it because, as you know, I think it's the statistics like 72% of American households have a Keurig machine or 72% of coffee drinkers own a Keurig, right? That's a huge market. We all know it's a huge market but it's not the most simple thing to get into. And in fact, it can be pretty confusing and intimidating. There's a lot of moving parts. First and foremost, huge shout out to iFill Systems. We get our pods from iFill Systems and I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about how we do our pods. I found them one day, I don't even really know where. I was on Google looking at different ways to fill coffee pods or how to buy coffee pod, like empty fillable coffee pods. And we actually bought a machine that was meant to seal the K cups that have tin foil lids on them, and we bought the machine. So it's like three thousand dollars. They're not, this stuff's not cheap. And right after, I think the next morning or same night, I found iFill System and was like, "Wait a second, you can buy pods where you." don't need a machine to seal them. And that's a kicker. I want everybody to check them out. And that's, this is this is the beginning of the story of pods. So our pods, and I apologize for not having any on hand. I brought them into my office. I bought a box so that I could show them here, but um, then I brought them to the office because the people there love my coffee. Our pods have lids that come open, right? These pods come shipped open. I'm sure we can put a picture up of what they look like and they snap shut. So all we have to do is fill the pods with coffee snap them shut, and then there's an adhesive layer, or it's, it's sticky around the outside, and you just kind of push it down and seal it. Now, once you have it pushed down, and this is why I kind of wish I had a pod, you cannot open it, right? It's really, really, really difficult to get these things out. I mean, if you if you really wanted to, you could rip it open. Same thing with like a, a tin foil pot, right? You could get that lid open pretty easily if you wanted to. Uh, these snap shut, and they don't come open. So it's not like this is some weird, you know, at home, like it, you close it, but be careful, you know, the lid can come off. No, it won't come off. I would argue that these are harder to get off than a tin foil lid. The max you can buy is 288. You can get 48 of them, which is like 17 bucks. So if you want to just try them out, um, it's like $17 for 48 of them, test them out, use them. But we were buying in 208 quantities of 288 because that's the max you can buy in. And when we started getting these pods, the next question is, okay, you got your pods. Well, how do you fill the pots. And these fit about 14 grams of coffee, which is, I mean, you could argue 14 to 15 grams of coffee. It's roughly one and a half times as much as the standard coffee pod, which is gonna be about 10 grams. And we've measured a lot of the name brands out there of how much coffee they have in there. And it's about 10 grams. You're looking at an average of 10 grams. Not only can these fit more coffee, um, but they have these really nice filters on the inside. And the kicker for us is the lids. So the technology on these lids is huge and I want to make sure I don't get ahead of myself we buy these pods we fill them with 14 grams of coffee and we have two methods that we use actually the two methods one is used by Steve Steve likes to fill them by hand that's what they all did in the beginning kale has made himself a pod filling machine I don't know how well it works I've never seen it all I know is that he puts a lot of time into building it and it looks like it would be awesome I just don't know how efficient it is so we have one one guy that fills them by hand Hand, another guy that has that has this machine that that he uses and I don't really think Nick fills too many pods but you can you can just scoop out 14 grams of coffee right put it well put it on a scale dump in the coffee until it's at 14 grams you're good to go you snap your lid shut you have a, a pot if you have freshly roasted coffee and you want to package that the reason that it's so important to have things like a degassing valve in your bags is because the amount of co2 that's being put off by fresh coffee would essentially blow up a bag of coffee if there was nowhere for the gas to escape. That's why it's important to have those one-way valves in your bags. Well, if you want to 
package fresh coffee into a pod, how are you supposed to avoid the problem of the lid not blowing off, right? You're gonna run into the same issue. Well, iFill Systems has patented technology, not patent pending, I almost said that, but I'm pretty sure they were granted the patent, where they have a one-way degassing valve in the lid. It's somewhere in the lining of the lid. I don't know exactly where on their website it has the image. So you can pack fresh coffee and then the CO2 can escape. No oxygen can get in, but the CO2 can escape from the lid. That's, to me, that's the kicker. We are all about fresh and I didn't even want to sacrifice the quality to get pods, even though it's it's such a big market, right? And we kind of found this perfect way to, to not have to sacrifice quality or freshness and have pods. The sacrifice there is that we're just having to fill them by hand right now because the machines are really expensive, but I'll talk about that. So once we get these pods in and we either fill them by hand or we use Kale's machine, we, we package them. And, and the packaging is another thing that you'll run into. So do you wanna package six? Do you wanna package 12? 18, 24, what quantities do you want to sell in? You're gonna to have to figure that out. That's a big thing, right? How many do you want to sell? We sell 18 count because we figured it's kind of in between that 12 and that 24. 12 is not a lot, right? It's only 12 cups of coffee. 24 is 24 cups of coffee. And we figured that 18 is a good middle ground. You could get two boxes. You have plenty of, of coffee. That's 36 pods. But you also could just buy one 18 pack and be good for you know a couple weeks, depending on how much coffee you drink. So we we bought our boxes so that, and this took quite a bit of math, the four of us were really thinking on this one. Uh, we had to figure out the dimensions of the pods and what size box we needed so that they fit flush, but not too, like, they, you know, we didn't want to be where we're stuffing the pods in there, but we also don't want them rattling around. So that took a little bit. And uh, I think our boxes are like four by four by six. There's something like that. And forgive me if that's not exact, but that's roughly what they are. And the second thing to that is how do you want to label these boxes, right? So now we have our pods. We put the coffee in there, either by hand or with Kale's machine. That is patent pending. And now we have a box that we put them in. Well, how do we label it? Do we want to just do a label that we stick on there? Do we wanna do some sort of stamp? How, you know, how do you wanna do that? What we did was sleeves. So we have a sleeve that wraps around the box. We kinda of thought that this would be the easiest way to just set, keep the two separate and have a little bit more, I guess something that makes the box not just look like a brown cardboard box, but the whole thing is covered in a label so it looks a little more branded and like it's a box of pods. So the label was actually extremely difficult. I should say the sleeve was extremely difficult. We ordered these sleeves from Uprinting because they had the best price and the quality Quality is actually great. I'm really happy with the quality. However, you have to send them the image in perfect proportion. Like the size of the image to be printed on this sleeve has to be exact. Uh, they give you the dimensions of what the sleeve will be. You have to make sure that you account for the fact that you need some crossover room to, to seal it, which we just use double-sided tape. And, and you have to make sure that if the top of your box is six inches, right? If the top of the box is, is six inches long or wide, you need to make sure your graphic is six inches or it's adjusted so that you're not gonna lose any of the image when you fold the sleeve down the sides. You need to make sure that the front lines up so that the top of the image or the top of the box has one section of the image the front has another section of the image as well as the back. Like those, you have to make sure that all of those line up so that when you fold your sleeve around the box, all of the graphics and images are where they need to be and in the right proportions. We could not have done this without a graphic designer. So if you have the idea of sleeves, I love the sleeves. I think the sleeves look good and they're simple. You need to make sure you know what you're doing. It would have been otherwise impossible. And I kid you not, I would have had to pay somebody had we not had our graphic designer because you printing helped us zero. Love the labels, sleeves. They helped us, literally they didn't help us at all. And that was that was really tough. So we're thankful we had a graphic designer. I would just urge you, you either know what you're doing or you plan on working with somebody who knows what they're doing if you're gonna do that because it got really tricky. In essence, that's how we handle our pots. There's not a lot to it. It's it's nothing crazy. You don't need any sort of machines with iFill system. Now they sell machines and I think we would love to have one of those machines here pretty soon. Once once business on the on the uh, wholesale side starts picking up or direct to consumer side, but it's not it's not justifiable right now. And Steve is actually quicker than Kill's machine, I think. So once you get it down
down, you can be really good and efficient with filling these pods by hand. So you don't need anything. You just need to buy the pods. And that's what's excellent about iFill systems. They're pretty affordable. The margins on, on our pods are great. I highly suggest that you look into it at least. It would be really hard if you were a one man shop. So I have that much to say. Uh, if you are just one person and wondering if it's something you want to take on. Yeah, if you guys have questions specifically about anything else that has to do with our pods, feel free to let me know. But that, that should pretty much summarize it. There was a link in my last video about uh, two iFill systems. So you guys could uh, go read up on them and see what they offer, learn more about the pods. But I'll put it down in um, the description again so you can go see it if you didn't see the last video. But I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. A lot of good stuff coming. Huge, huge things coming. Had a, had, we have a great partnership we're really excited to get started with. So hopefully we'll have uh, some more to say on that here soon. But that's it for today. Hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully that was helpful. And like I said, any more questions, you know to reach me, guys. I will see you in the next video. Keep it real. Subscribe.